I've been fortunate to do some really exciting things in the outdoors, but there's one thing that always gets my hand shaken more than anything and that is hunting whitetail deer. Now we are smack dab in whitetail season right now and I wanted to go over my top five hunts ever that I've done on this channel. I've been doing YouTube for over 10 years and luckily when I go on these hunts, they've pretty much all been recorded. So I get to go back and watch some of these memories. And what you may notice is these are not my top five biggest whitetail ever, but they're the top five whitetail moments for me. And before we get into the first one, I just want to say to all y'all, hunting is what you make it. Fishing is too. It's all about what makes that experience exciting and unique for you. And whether you're going after a big buck or a little spike, if your hands are shaking and you're high-fiving and you're jacked, that's what it's all about. And if you remember some of these older videos, shout out to you for being here for so long. Coming in at number five is a hunt with my dad. And I gotta give a shout out to LFD. He is the, he's the man that got me into the outdoors. And he really didn't get to hunt a whole lot when he was a young man and he, he did it. He just worked all the time and he gave me opportunities to go hunt. You know, whether it was with friends or, or other family, he gave me those opportunities that really changed my life. So when I get the opportunity to go hunt with him or fish with him, I cherish it. And if I was doing a top six, it would be the hunt with my dad taking him out to get his first buck ever. That was a huge moment, but we had a hunt just last year going to South Texas, which is a completely different territory than where I even hunt in Central Texas or where my dad grew up hunting, that there is just desert, cactus, and big deer. I was able to get a buck myself, but on the same morning, my dad got a monster old nine point and it just made my day to see him get a deer like that. And unfortunately, I wasn't in the blind with him, but I could just see the emotion on his face and I got to watch some video from the blind. So this is number five, hunting with my dad in South Texas. Getting ready to head out. Dad is pumped. So dad's actually gonna take his, uh, his dad's 30-06 and uh, She's an antique. It, it is this this gun is awesome but it's a little sketchy past 100 um, dad's gonna be hunting with art who already got two deer this morning what the heck there's someone driving down this road right now I don't know who it is they just they just booped off all the deer See what happens now. There's a deer coming out already. I just heard the bird another buck grunt. second. <laughs> He's coming 
Jason Hart. He's all up. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's gonna bow up right here. Yeah. Big body. There's your chance. It's a nice buck. side. I think I got it through here, but... God, yeah, I can't see, see, see where... I missed him. You see the shot or what? I missed him. Shot over him. Oh, you see the shot go over? Mm -hmm. There he is. There he is, Hector. 
There he is, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah. No, we drilled him. We drilled him. Man. Look at that block, man. Oh, oh my gosh. Holy cow. All right, we got old Mr. 10 out here on the road. We're getting picked up. I cannot wait to see my dad's deer, y'all. This is a, uh, an awesome management deer, believe it or not. Uh, Hector wanted to take this one because it's not very wide. Like you'll see some of the other deer are extremely wide out here. Uh, amazing deer for me, so I'm pumped. That's my biggest one ever! Yay. There you go, man. Look at this deer. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh, Dad. That deer might be bigger than you are. Hey, well, I don't know about that. I'm pretty got I got some good tonnage on me, but look at that buck, man. Look at those mule ears. Love them. Golly. Congratulations, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo! I, your motivational speech has paid off. You know? <laughs> Justin last night says, Dad, dream about killing a deer tonight. All right, be focused in the morning. That is awesome, guys. An amazing buck. Look, just look at the body. So I think, mine's probably about five years old. This buck looks like it's grandpa. Like it's 10 years old. Look at the chest. Perfect shot, too. You shot it from this side? Yeah. Perfect shot, LFD, man. <laughs> there were does all around us. Art says, hey, Calvin, I think your deer just arrived. He He's walked 100 yards, it's all, all right, wow. straight at me so I couldn't get a shot. Yeah, yeah. And then he stopped, the ears went up, and I went, oh, he's going to bolt. Yep. He turned a little sideways, and Art goes, take it. <laughs> Boom. Did you get him on camera? Sorry, it was it was too dark. Foggy. No, it was serious? foggy. It was foggy. Awesome. Let's let's get a double photo, man. We're not gonna have two deer this big ever no, again in our never, lives. Never. Oh well, Dad, did you have a good hunt today? Heck <laughs> yeah! Look at that. Huh? That's our that's our two bucks right there, man. You can just tell. Literally, your I think your your deer is twice as old as this deer. This one is uh it's quite narrow, but. You know, still a really good buck. The son, smaller oh. buck. Oh guy, bigger guy. Bigger got, got grandpa. That's an awesome, awesome deer. We're gonna get some great cuts off these bad boys too and take them back to uh, the Rackley household to consume and enjoy the rest of the year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> My gosh, man. The neck, I mean. Next neck. up, speaking of hunting with the family, it's my full family hunt, my immediate family. That's Stephanie, that's Emmy, that's Ben, little Ben at the time. And we are all getting in the blind together to have a family hunt. At this point, Stephanie has never gone deer hunting before. Emmy and Ben have never been deer hunting before. This is a first time experience for all of them. And I just remember how much work it was for me to try to get Stephanie to have a successful hunt. And I found the perfect deer for her. Here we go. Chambered. Yes. Woo! Now that will kill a deer, baby. You just hit a, a pie-sized plate at 100 like, yards. Woo, I'm shaking. <laughs> but I like I have to calm myself down. Yes. That was perfect. That's all you got to do right there. Good job, Mom. All right, show us your target. Oh, well, I'll show them because I'm pretty proud of this. You should be. And that's the only practice we're going to be doing today, right? That's it. I think, I think we end on confidence, that's don't it? you? I really like the scenario we did there. It's pretty realistic of what's, going, what's it was. going down. Look how precise I was. I mean, you are straight up and down. Bullseye, edge of the bullseye, both shots. It doesn't get much better than that, honey. OSG, we ready, you ready for, to do this? <laughs> I'm ready for shooting a deer, <laughs> like my outfit. Not I, I really. have a camo jacket. Okay, you got any face paint? 
I don't. Don't worry, I got some. Can I like, can I go like this? Not really. Because it's too white. That's like a pink and white paisley. Well, maybe they like it. <laughs> maybe the it's deer doubtful. like it. It's doubtful. Uh, Amy's playing with rocks. So, no big deal. We just got to get baby Ben. Yeah, he's been... And it's pretty much go time. 4.30. Okay. Uh, this is when we said we were going to head out. So, let's right. head out. Let's, let's go do it. Let's go get him, thankfully. I don't, he hasn't nursed in a while, so maybe once we get in the deer blind, I can nurse him, kind of calm him down, get him back to sleep. Oh. All right, let's get you in the deer blind, buddy. Me That'll calm you down.
hang on. Just wait, just wait, don't you? No, come back, he'll come back. It's a corn dog. Just wait till he gets settled. I'm bleeding. I saw him bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Oh. Baby's still sleeping. Oh my gosh. Amy, do you know what just happened? She has no idea. Oh my gosh. Baby. I don't think I had the safety all the way up because I was pressing it and it didn't go off. Oh my gosh. So I was pressing it and I was like, it's okay. He went perfect broadside. Oh my gosh, y'all. Good shot. I think that was a really good shot. I saw him bleeding out really good as I was running. So just, just leave it in there, it's fine. Oh my gosh, y'all. Did I just Great. hit a deer? You just got a phenomenal eight. There goes the fear right now. Phenomenal eight point buck. With two kids in the blind. <laughs> you are a super mom. <laughs> I need to win an award for that. Oh my gosh, babe, I am shaky. Good job. I'm Good job. Too. Holy cow. That was that was nerve wracking. You did great though. You waited. Did you feel good with the shoulder pad under there? Yeah. Everything solid? Yeah. I felt really okay. solid. I didn't feel shaky. Okay, great. I was just, he was constantly going yeah. up and down, up and down. It's right behind the crease. Yeah. Easy squeeze. All right, the shot, I, I heard the shot hit. Did you? And I wasn't, I, did, I didn't see where it impacted, but I saw him bleeding really good as he, run, he ran away. Shooting duties are over. Your shooting duties are over. You can wear them now. Go. Kids in town. We'll start at the scene of the crime right here. All right, babe, so you feel good about the shot? I do, I felt really good about the shot. Okay, well, the video, you know, it looked kind of high. Uh, it did, doesn't look good. but look right here. So we got, we got good bright red color. That's what we want. We got some more right here. And I watched back the video and I saw he ran down this road a little bit, but, uh -uh. Amy, you want to come too? Yes, I do. Okay. You want, you might want to leave corn right there. Corn in the seat. Corn is so dirty. Okay, so. There you go. Good job. Good eye. Yeah. So I've got my, my gun and then the backpack at the last blood, and that's where we got to go from there. 
So he ran through here. Look at this cactus right here. Oh. Follow me. Stepping right where Daddy is stepping. Don't touch these. These are very bad. And this is kind of where we're at. So just kind of follow. Uh, you just need to follow like wherever you see blood. Put you down. Get me out. Okay. Get me I'll put out. you down. Here you go. You see blood? Right there. You see blood? I love you. Okay. Hang on. Are you still seeing it? You see it right there? That's good. Yeah, I think I saw him head this way on video. But it kind of thins out, you know? Yeah. Kind of stops. I think it's a leaf. It can kind of be tricky. It can be tricky sometimes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You're about stepping cactus. You, you oh. did it, babe. My gosh, that's yeah. not. That's like a hundred yards from the. <laughs> it's less than that. It's not even seventy yards. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's a cactus. <laughs> what a buck! And guess what? You made a perfect shot. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Perfect shot on a deer. Oh my god! I'm sweating. Oh my I'm sweating. <laughs> Good job. Oh Look at your buck. My gosh! With my two kids. <laughs> Emmy, what do you think? What do you think, Emmy? This is mommy's buck. Oh my god, that's a perfect shot. You did you did great. That's that's actually uh that's textbook right there. That's textbook. So you did you did phenomenal. For some reason it looked it looked so high. It looked yeah. higher on the video. It made me get yeah, I'm starting to get really sad. What a beautiful eight point buck. <laughs> You know, I thought this this deer was really cool. I liked his his G2s right here. He's dark horned, and uh, you know he's just a mature buck. And I thought he'd be a great one for you to take. This is so much bigger than my first buck <laughs> I ever shot. Like you don't understand. <laughs> he's beautiful. He's gorgeous. Good job, Emmy. Oh what do you think about God. those those antlers? Is that cool? I like those antlers. Mm hmm. Oh. And he's a really healthy buck too. He's gonna to be good, good to eat. So you knew he was. I already, back. I already found him, but I wanted you to find him. So. Well, I like, I like the way you did that. Thank you. Oh my gosh! What a champion, mom! What a champion, mom! Can you believe it, y'all? If you were not smashing the like button right now, something is wrong with you. What do you think? Well, I've never, I've never been like up close to them. First of all. Cause I don't even think I've been on like a hunt with you and seen this up close. So it's, it's kind of unreal. It's surreal actually. It's an awesome feeling, right? It is. You see how people can get addicted to it? It's an awesome feeling knowing that I didn't hurt him. You know, he was only in pain. For it was, like, yeah, it was, five he went down as soon as he basically left, exited the frame I think that's on what video. I'm most proud of. Well, you made a fantastic shot. We're going to make that deer sausage like you wanted. And uh, we'll probably do a, a little Euro skull on that guy because he's, he's got some really cool antlers, a fantastic cull buck uh, to take out here. And then we can't forget about little baby Ben, who's <laughs> done so time. good. Uh, we should give assist points, Emmy, high five to you and your brother Ben. They were quiet like long enough. Well, first of all, the deer came in really early, which was fantastic, but and anyways, we, we were all quiet. It just all came together. It was, it was a god thing. Yeah. High five. Good so job. Are we going to celebrate? Yeah. I think we did fantastic work, you especially, and Team what an effort. awesome first deer. Team I'm give you a kiss. Mm. And I'm proud of you, babe. So like I said in the beginning, hunting is uh, about the experience to you, and you notice the first two videos, I wasn't even hunting. And a lot of times for me, it's just about being at camp. It's about, you know, sharing a campfire, having a meal, telling the stories and just getting in the woods and having that experience, getting to see animals. It's a blessing at any time, but getting close to them, that's a whole nother level.
And whitetail hunting in general, it gets me going, but what gets me shaking is getting close with a bow. So at number three, it's a bow hunt I did in Oklahoma up on the Battle Springs Ranch. And it was just peak seat, like it was happening. The rut was going on and I was able to get up in a tree. I ended up, uh, over the course of a couple of days, I hunted with my trad bow, uh, but this one particular hunt with my compound bow, there was just deer lurking everywhere. It was my first successful saddle hunt, and as soon as I got in the tree, it was nonstop action. We're here for the white tails.
so close to this deer. Meh, meh.
guys, that's why you carry plenty of arrows in your quiver. I can't believe this, but my GoPro, my hands are shaking. My GoPro died right after I shot that first deer. down. I'm going to slide out of the tree. I got no arrows left anyways. Absolutely insane hunt. Two deer down. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave an arrow right here so I know Petey's on his way. I'm gonna leave an arrow right here so we've got a little tracking spot. There she is. Damn, dude. What a. <laughs> Holy cow. What was that, like 300 yards? Let's go. <sighs> I told you she was going to hop that fence. <laughs> she almost did. Or did she? I can't. My eyes can barely see. Oh my gosh. Pete. That was far, bro. Hey, man. Good shot. Good tracking. I doubled down. Dude, you smacked her, man. Oh, yes, y'all. Oh my gosh, what a hunt. That was crazy. I, I only had one arrow left in my quiver, and it was a small game point. Three arrows deployed, two white tail down. 
<sighs> me and Petey just tracked this deer. I'm gonna guess at least 200 yards. Oh, 12 yards was that first shot. I could have easily taken it with a trad bow. Top three hunts of my life. Awesome. First saddle deer too. So here is our second arrow right here, guys. And this is the one that deflected off the tree up there. It deflected off a branch and I completely missed the deer. Ugh. I'm gonna have some cleaning to do on the iron wheels. And then this one, that's our third shot. And that one was a absolute devastator. And that deer went maybe 15 yards. Number two, he's hanging on the wall and this deer actually just broke through a level for me. Confidence wise, to be confident with a compound bow up in a tree and shooting at a buck. But it was the first hunt I ever did with uh, Mike Owens, the mullet man. And I was probably pretty young in this video. It's pretty crazy y'all. But this, this was my first archery buck ever.
Get it. Perfect shot. Oh my god, did I nail it? Oh my gosh. That was all over the place, dude. That was all over the place. Sick job, dude. You had to get up, sit down. He was left, right? Oh my gosh. Dude, I I'm shaking so bad. I think I'm shaking as bad as you. Dude, I ranged him like 40 times. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. That's the that was, that's a, the that was a perfect shot. That was the biggest. That's the biggest deer I've shot by far, dude. Not even close. We're in a different realm. Oh my gosh. It's a good deer to shake on. What a hunt, bro. What a hunt. We're up here in this little spindly tree. Dude, look at my hand. <laughs> the little light just shaking for me. I'm shaking. So 30, 40, 35. That was a money shot. Yeah. I would, it was Did just you a blur. Did you see those two does that came in? I was like, oh no. Because yeah, if they start looking I'm up. I'm glad you took your time and had a good shot. Yeah. That deer's dead. That deer's dead for sure. That was a good shot. Yeah. My gosh, dude. I'm pumped. Mike, what a hunt, bro. What a hunt. <laughs> Oh. oh, my butt is asleep. Yeah. Dude, I'm shaking so bad, it's gonna be hard to get down out of the tree. Out here, we can see the lighted knock. It was so cool to watch that green arrow glowing, flying through the air, and then passing through that deer. Here it is. Truth. Oh, baby, we got good. Blood. Look at that. Whew. How about that, Mike? That's good stuff right that there. That's as good as it gets. Oh, yeah. The green in the night. The old rage deployed and just whack, whacked it, man. Mm. That is a great sign. I mean, I think we made a great shot, but. Oh, he went this way. That was a moment I will never forget for the rest of my life. Me and Mike up in that tree, the way Mike set this up, had it set up, filmed everything back and forth. I didn't think we were gonna get done there for about five minutes, but he came back and uh, we got it done. So we're gonna let him rest just a minute. We're gonna go get the four wheeler. We're gonna go find this guy, my biggest deer by far ever. By far. Okay. Yeah. Time for the search. Blood. Blood. Yep. Blood. Blood. I think he's going more this way. Yeah, he's going yeah. to the right. Blood. There you go. Now you're on it. There it is. Yeah, we're going to get some ticks, Mike. I don't care. Oh, yeah. There's blood. Look at this. Blood here. Where? Right here. It's right down in there. Maybe he cut left. Yeah, a little speck. Not a whole lot. <clears throat> hey, boys. Him. Got him. Oh, here we go, y'all. <laughs> Look at that buck right there, boys. Oh, my goodness. What a gnarly dude, man. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> dude, that is awesome. Look at that, man. Probably got his lungs, long shot. That camera, dude. Wow, wow, look at this big, old, beautiful deer, man. That is awesome. Look at those thick antlers, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, the biggest buck ever. This is insane. What an awesome deer. Yes, yes, Mike, yes. I just gotta stare at him for a little bit. That is a big, beautiful deer, man. That feels awesome when you get an old, mature animal like that. That buck really got me into hunting with a compound bow. But my number one, my all-time favorite, 
And this is gonna be tough to top. And it's not a big deer, but my goodness, just the emotions behind this one. It's my trad bow buck. And to give a little bit more context, I had made five or six different bows and some of them ended up snapping and I had finally made a couple that I felt pretty confident in. I was even outfitting my own cedar shaft arrows. So it was a full on deep rabbit hole, traditional archery experience. I had scouted a small deer I knew I could get close to and with a traditional bow, you need to be at like 10 to 15 yards. And I just completely missed twice. That took a deep emotional toll on me and I thought about giving up on my traditional bow journey right there. But instead I went home, I practiced, practiced, practiced and then went back to the deer lease with my trad bows. But as soon as I got there taking some practice warm up shots, I heard my bow crack. Oh, I heard it. Oh, did you guys hear it? I don't wanna stress that any further than what it is. I'm gonna grab the other bow. Luckily, I had made another bow out of Osage, like some of the trees that are behind me. Hit the cup. All right. All right, guys, we're in. It's about 90 degrees. We're sweating. There's nothing I can do about that. String up the bow. And the feeder goes off here in about 30 minutes, so we made it in here, I think, in good time. I wouldn't want to be in here any earlier anyway, so this recurve's a little trickier to string up. I'm gonna have to stand up to do this.
He's about 20 yards away. He's munching pretty good, but he's, he's nervous to come back over here where I put the corn. He smelled me already. I'm just going to wait him out. If I get a shot, I get a shot. If I don't.
This is my worst fear. Like, worst fear realized.
Oh my god, he's down. Holy cow, he's down, guys. Holy cow, he didn't go. He didn't go. So, so lucky guys. It was a little six point battle there, but uh, I've definitely seen this deer. I've seen both of those deer before. Uh, both of them were um, a cold buck I wanted to get last year and just, uh, they just never came back around. But <sighs> I was patient and it worked out guys. It worked out. My first buck with the self bow. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, I know he's not a giant. But guys, I'm going to tell you, this is a bigger trophy to me than shooting that 10 point or the 9 point that I was looking at or any of these other, you know, 140 plus inch deer out here. It's starting to get dark. I'm going to go get the ATV, get this guy out of here. The hogs are all up in this, this area, so I'm going to get out of here before it gets too dark. Oh my gosh, buddy. Oh my gosh. That was a small buck and that wasn't even a good shot. I got lucky with a liver shot, but for me, first time getting an animal with the trad bow, it was epic. So no matter what you have on the ground, just be glad there's something actually down on the ground. Because as all of us know that hunt white-tailed deer, there are those ones that get away and they keep you up at night. Thank you all for tuning in to my top five white-tail hunts ever. You know, going through so much footage, I've got just years and years of outdoor footage. I might put one of these together for elk and some of my other hunts. So let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see something else like this. Best of luck to you in the woods and in the great outdoors. And I'll see y'all on the next one.